The rise of AI robots is now at a very dangerous point because they are on the verge of taking over our jobs. Starbucks has incorporated AI robots into its workforce, and it will only take a matter of time before every other sector adopts this system. It's very important that you watch this video because you'll likely be affected by the outcomes of this AI robot development, and that's not an exaggeration. The thing is, artificial intelligence has taken over our planet completely, and there's little we can do to stop it. Starbucks, the world's largest coffeehouse company, has started integrating AI robots into its workforce, deposing hundreds of thousands of humans from their jobs. This plan has taken effect in South Korea, with more than 100 service dual-arm robots called Rookie, delivering Starbucks drinks to meeting rooms and private seats all over the company. Built by South Korean tech firm Naver, the company released this video of 100 robots operating at a Starbucks branch in its headquarters on social media. The robots served coffee and snacks to employees in the building using the most effective delivery system that renders humans useless. This delivery system is called RoboPort, a robot-only elevator that allows robots to move rapidly and freely between eight basement levels and 28 floors. Remember those sci-fi movies or novels that depict a futuristic world filled with robots? Yeah, we're in that era now, and multiple sectors are employing AI robots faster than we think. Look at this fancy hotel in China, for instance. This luxury hotel uses a robot named Madame Wei to welcome guests as they enter. The customer service avatar is so human-like and pretty that several people readily don't realize she's not a real person at first glance. What about the AI-powered robot that can solve a Rubik's Cube in less than a second? Imagine a workforce made up of these AI innovations. Do you still think artificial intelligence can't take our jobs? The work rate of these robots at Starbucks would shock you. With more companies willing to implement an AI workforce, a the question then arises, where will humans fit into the workplace? With 31,000 stores worldwide and 400,000 partners serving 100 million customers a week and more during festive seasons, Starbucks has a lot more than it can handle and needs a workforce that can fill customers' orders faster. Even though it comes at the cost of removing people from their jobs and replacing them with robots controlled by AI. It's a crazy reality, but there is little we can do about controlling AI, as it is already spreading everywhere. The world is evolving sizes, so expect more digital humans to replace us and eliminate us from jobs like influencing or content creation. Even the fashion, music, and acting industries are already dominated by these virtual influencers and digital humans, some of which we even watch on Netflix. An example is the movie series Love, Death, Plus Robots. If you think AI would not be able to eliminate you from your job, wait till you see this digital version of Albert Einstein, created by a tech company called UNEQ. If artificial intelligence can make Albert Einstein talk like he didn't die 69 years ago, then how long will it be before it dominates our transforming world and displaces us from our jobs? The emerging reality for Starbucks as a company is the need for AI and its workforce to enable smoother operations. Even former Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson, a veteran of the tech industry with over three decades of experience at companies like Microsoft, IBM, and Juniper Networks, knew AI would eventually impact the human workforce, with Starbucks being no exception. Also, because Naver owns the building that houses this unique Starbucks office, the South Korean tech firm used it as an opportunity to assign those 100 dual-arm robots to that branch of Starbucks at Naver's headquarters. Known simply as Rookie, these service robots roam the building while delivering lunchboxes, coffee, documents, convenience store orders, and all forms of packages to over 5,000 employees. According to the South Korean tech firm, its headquarters is the world's first robot-friendly building and the largest hub for the company's technological innovations in robotics, AI, and cloud services. The robots working in the building are connected to the tech firm's cloud-based system, which the company said serves as a collective brain to the robots, managing and controlling their actions in real time. The system is based on Naver Cloud and 5G networks and is even equipped with technologies such as predictive robot coordination, collision avoidance, and pathfinding algorithms that ensure all robots move smoothly. With all these evolutions in technology, we're probably already in the future. The company also confirmed in the video's post that this multi-robot intelligence system is the world's first web platform-based OS dedicated to robots, and it would pave the way for even more robot services to emerge. This is true as the tech headquarters have various types of robots in that building, all of which are built to perform different tasks. These robots include a dual-arm Ambidex, a drawing robot named Arto-1, and a server management system named Ciro. All these innovations point to the fact that these AI-powered machines are the future, and it is sure they will take jobs away from us. On what scale do you think these AI robots would affect us? Do you think they would be able to eliminate our jobs completely? Or do you think our workforce will evolve to find a new purpose within a technologically advanced world? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.